All right, this is Alan Habaz, Staten Island, New York. I am going to uh, say the bread I'll cut for people who are in a hurry, who don't have time, want to play this video when you're on your way to work, or when you just don't feel like getting up and reading this ador. I'm going to say it in Hebrew and English. I offer my I offer thanks to you, living and eternal King, for you have mercifully restored my soul within me. Your faithfulness is great. Blessed Lord God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us concerning the washing of the hands. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe, who has formed man in wisdom and created with him numerous orifices and cavities. It is revealed and known before the throne of your glory that if one of them were to be blocked or one of them were to be opened, it would be impossible to exist even for a short time. Blessed are you, Lord, who heals all flesh and performs wonders. Amen. He vata mishamra be kirbi vata ti lila me meni o hazira be la ti la boca of the mancha and jama be kirbi modani le faneca adonai elohai velohe a batai di bonco masim at don go on the shamot barukatanai a mahazir the shamot lifkari me team. On the bottom, my God, the soul which you have given me is pure. You have created it, you have formed it, you have breathed it into me. And you preserve it within me. You will eventually take it from me and restore it within me in time to come. So long as the soul is within me, I offer thanks to you, Lord my God, God of my fathers, Master of all works, Lord of all souls. Blessed are you, Lord, who restores souls to dead bodies. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe, who gives the rooster understanding to distinguish between day and night. Blessed are you, Lord King of the universe, who opens the eyes of the blind. Blessed are you, Lord King of the universe, who releases the bound. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who straightens the bowed. Blessed are you, Lord King of the universe, who clothes the naked. Blessed are you, Lord God, King of the universe, who gives strength to the weary, who spreads forth the earth above the waters, who directs the steps of man, who has provided me with my every need, who girds the people, with might, Baruch Atana Makalam, who crowns the people Israel with glory, Baruch Atana Makalam, who has not made me a Gentile, Baruch Atana Makalam, who has not made me a slave, Baruch Atana Makalam, who has not made me a woman. Baruch Atana Makalam, who has not made me a Baruch Atana Makalam, who removes sleep from my eyes and slumber from my eyelids. It may be your little Lord God, God of our fathers, to accustom us to study your Torah. And to make us cleave to your commandments, do not bring us into sin, nor into transgression, or iniquity, or temptation, or scorn, may the evil inclination not have mastery over us. Keep us far from an evil person, and an evil companion, make us cleave to, 
to the good inclination and good deeds and compel our inclination to be subservient to you. Grant us this day and every day grace, kindness, and mercy in your eyes and in the eyes of all who behold us and bestow bountiful kindness upon us. Blessed are you, Lord, who bestows bountiful kindness upon his people Israel. May it be your will, Lord our God, God of our fathers, to protect me this day and every day from insolent men, from impudence, from a wicked man, from an evil companion, an evil neighbor, and an evil occurrence, from an evil eye, from a malicious tongue, from slander, from false testimony, from men's hate, from calumnious charges, from unnatural death, and from harsh diseases, and from the misfortune, from misfortune, and from the destructive adversary, from a harsh judgment, from an implacable opponent, whether or not he is a member of the covenant, and from the retribution of Gehenna. Baruch Atanam who has sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us concerning the words of Torah, and make the teachings of your Torah, Lord our God, pleasant in our mouth and in the mouth of your entire people, the house of Israel, and may we and our children and the children of your entire people, the house of Israel, all be knowers of your name and students of your Torah for its own sake. Baruch Atanam, who teaches the Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed your Lord, our God, King of the universe, who has chosen us from among the nations and given us his Torah. Blessed are your Lord, who gives the Torah. And the Lord spoke to Moshe, saying, Speak to Aaron and to his sons, saying, Thus shall you bless the children of Israel, saying to them, The Lord bless you and guard you. Amen. The Lord make his countenance shine upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. The Lord turn his countenance toward you and grant you peace. And they shall set my name upon the children of Israel, and I shall bless them. These are the precepts for which no fixed measure is prescribed, leaving the crops of the edge of the field for the poor. The gift of the first fruits, the pilgrim, pilgrimage offerings, brought when appearing before the Lord on the three festivals, deeds of kindness, and the study of Torah. These are the precepts, the fruits of which man enjoys in the world, while the principal reward remains in the world to come, honoring one's father and mother, performing deeds of kindness, early attendance at the house of study, morning and evening, hospitality to strangers, visiting the sick, dowering the bride, escorting the dead, concentration and prayer, prayer, bringing peace between man and his fellow man and between husband and wife. And the study of Torah is equivalent to them all. So I'm going to leave off over here. This is part one. Thank you for listening. Enjoy your day.